What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. If you come through and, and watch my video, be sure to hit that like button, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car, and also comment down below and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop this daily content. And if you want to have me hop on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. But without further ado, man, let's get it popping. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. And today, we got to talk about Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence, bro. Some people are saying that the fight might be off, bro. The fight might be off. Let me respond to that. You crazy as hell. If you think this fight ain't gonna happen, listen, bro. Now, could it not, could it be off, you know, because of an injury or or somebody gets sick or something like that? We knocking on wood, hoping that that don't happen. But if you think that it's gonna be off because of what's going on with this lawsuit against Manny Pacquiao, I I totally disagree with you. And here's why, bro. A couple of things. Number one, and for those y'all that don't know, there's this company out there, Paradigm Sports. They manage, um, they're the management firm that manages Conor McGregor as well. And what they're filing is what's called a preliminary injunction. They're basically trying to get Manny Pacquiao to not be able to fight Spence until this matter in court is settled. Because they think that the court trial and, 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 and the legalities and shit could last well beyond what the fight date is supposed to, see, uh, supposed to be. They're also um, trying to either get Manny Pacquiao to not be able to fight Earl Spence or... He got to get him $8 million if he do go fight Spence for their damages and, and, and for the time and the money that they feel like they lost. They feel like their business reputation has been taking a huge hit with this not going through and, um, and, and so forth and so on. So they're suing Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's response to this is that um, his legal team has wrote a response and, and we had the details. They feel like, um, you know, that... Pacquiao, they're saying, or not feel like, they're saying that Manny Pacquiao had a trusted advisor that went behind his back and negotiated with um, Paradigm without Manny Pacquiao's knowledge, right? Kind of as a go-between. They're also saying that a lot of promises and a lot of things that Paradigm said would happen didn't happen, and that Paradigm was well aware of his other relationship with this other promotion company, and that that preceded anything he had going on with Paradigm. Long story short, he's well within his rights to negotiate a um, a fight with Spence and a fight Spence on August 21st. The reason why I don't think there's anything to this is, is for a few reasons. Number one, you hear that buffer that Manny Pacquiao and them are claiming that, that they have, meaning that um, Paradigm might not have spoken to him directly. They were speaking to his advisor. And if it's a trusted advisor, you know, I'm sure Manny Pacquiao, his team, they got guys that'll be like, look, yeah, man, Manny Pacquiao ain't no shit about this. Because Manny Pacquiao, I tell him I was outside, look, bro, you need to go ahead and take this little file for this shit. Go ahead and let him know that I ain't no shit about it, even though you and I know I knew shit about it. You go ahead and take the file for this one, I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? If that means, like, he got to pay some sort of fine or anything like that, Manny Pacquiao take care of that. And probably Manny Pacquiao set him straight with some bread, you know what I'm saying, for taking the file and, and, saying, and falling on the sword like that. So... They're already like putting a buffer in between that saying some guy negotiated with Paradigm without Manny Pacquiao's knowledge. That's the first thing where I'm like, bro, they, they kind of building up a solid case for, for Paradigm to really have no recourse for this. But let's say the judge does rule in favor of Paradigm, bro. $8 million, bro. They either want a preliminary injunction, they want to stop the fight, or they want $8 million, bro. I know multiple people. Multiple people that's involved with this Manny Pacquiao fight that'll pay the $8 million. Manny Pacquiao will pay the $8 million and still fight Spence. Fox will pay the $8 million. Shit, Al Heyman will pay the $8 million. Like, bro, this fight is happening. They, they not going to put this fight to the side over some lawsuit where, at worst, it's $8 million you would have to pay. And at best, might not go through and might not be able to, um, to, to fight or to... To, to win anyway, bro. So I'm not really worried about the fight not happening. I believe wholeheartedly that the Manny Pacquiao Earl Spence fight is gonna happen because I think Manny Pacquiao obviously has a good legal team. I don't, I think Al Heyman and the PBC they're they're not known 
for being people that don't do their due diligence. You know, Al Heyman and, and, and the PBC, they, I'm sure they've seen the contracts, bro. I'm sure they've looked at them and said, oh, yeah, we can still make this work. There ain't no problem. You know what I'm saying? Or if this comes up, we can, like, I, they don't strike me as the, the business outfit, the type of people that wouldn't that wouldn't have an answer for this. And then Manny Pacquiao doesn't strike me as the type of person that wouldn't disclose this information to Al Heyman and then when they're negotiating this fight, hey, we got this other deal over here with Paradigm Sports. This is what it says. Here's the paperwork, yada, yada, yada. And I believe Al Heyman would ask for that shit, bro. I don't think they get this close to the fight. They doing press conferences on Fox. You know what I'm saying? If they felt like there was anything that could happen here. You know what I mean? Like, And I've heard people kind of um, compare this to um, Deontay Wilder and... and um, and Tyson Fury. There's no comparison there, first of all, because this is a fighter that's owed a rematch versus a management company saying that we had exclusive rights on Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? They actually have, they actually, Deontay Wilder had proof. He had them coming out in the media saying, yeah, he was supposed to be next. They were supposed to be doing this. They were, you know, we, we waiting on Wilder for the rematch. Like, they came out in public and publicly admitted, like, yeah, we were supposed to have a rematch with Deontay Wilder, but we ain't doing that shit. Whereas you've never heard Manny Pacquiao himself say anything about Paradigm Management Sports. You've heard it reported. You've heard trusted advisors. You've heard you've heard people you've heard people say that this is what he's doing. This is you know he signed to this. He did this. But Manny Pacquiao ain't came came out and said none of that shit, bro. None of it. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think we good here, bro. And honestly, we should be, man. Don't nobody want like Paradigm. Like no disrespect, bro. Y'all coming from the MMA, y'all trying to get in the boxing, like, do your business shit, bro. I'm not hating on that. I'm not hating on that. You just got outfoxed, bro. You got outfoxed. Hopefully, you know, in the perfect world, bro, get your damages. I don't care. Get your damages. You know what I'm saying? Get your, get your 8 million and, and move on. Because I can tell you this, if you was trying to get in the boxing, the way to get in the boxing is not going to be to try to stop the biggest fight of the year, bro. You're going to piss a lot of people off. If you, you want to talk about your business reputation, you're talking about Manny Pacquiao damage, your business reputation, what's more damaging is going ahead with this lawsuit. Because, see, the boxing world holds grudges, bro. The boxing world holds grudges, and it's a lot of people in the boxing world that are in powerful positions that want this fight to go through. You understand what I'm saying? So if you paradigm management, you might have to take the L on this one, bro. If you're really trying to get into boxing like that, you know what I'm saying? If you're really trying to, if you're really trying to to to, to step into the game and and, and be a, be a player here, bro. You know what I mean? Like if, if that's what you really want to do, then you gonna have to understand that you might need to let this one go, bro. You might need to let this one go because it's gonna make you look bad. I believe you are gonna lose. I tell you right now, it's what August the what August the second. We only um 19 days away. 19 days away from the Spence and Pacquiao fight. It's coming up quick. It's coming up quick. And let me tell you, bro, you're not stopping this fight. So you might as well get off of this train. You might as well just see if you can get some damages or something. And then move on. Because if you really want to be in boxing, bro, this ain't the way to do it. You don't announce yourself by trying to block the biggest fight in boxing, bro. Especially, especially when you know damn well you could possibly get a cut of the shit, man. Like, that's what you should be. Like, they shouldn't be pushing for no preliminary injunction, no regular injunction. They should not be pushing to block the fight. They should just be pushing like, yo, you need to pay us a piece of this, bro. You need to pay us our damages that we lost. Like, it was alleged that he took $3.3 million, bro. Give us our money back, right? You didn't sign. You didn't You didn't fight the fight that we, we allegedly had for you, right? You didn't go through with our deal. And we gave you $3.3 million up front. Give us our money back, bro. Give us our bread back. And let us go on about, about our business. They trying to get future earnings and, and, oh, we think we could lose it. Like, they trying to get all of that shit, bro. When in reality, like, do you really deserve that shit? Because you didn't have nothing to do with the deal. But if I'm Manny Pacquiao, if I'm Al Heyman, if it comes to them paying him, eight, paying Paradigm $8.8 million, or not having a fight, man, they need to go ahead and cough up that money. Whatever needs to be done, whatever decisions need to be made to make sure that we get Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao in the ring on August 21st, that's what needs to happen, bro. 
that's what needs to happen in my opinion. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think that this fight is in any threat of not happening? I don't believe it, bro. I think the fight gonna happen. I think we're gonna be happy August 21st. We need this as boxing fans, bro. It's been a lot of salt in the game this summer. It's been a lot of stuff going wrong. We need this one to go right, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Comment down below. Hit the like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be informed when we drop the daily content. And if you want to have me hop on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. Don't forget about the live show that's going down this Wednesday, um, August the 4th, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. It's going to be a lit show, man. Y'all come hang out with your boy. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out chill. Peace, y'all.